Hi, this is Maria, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you a simple yet powerful practice that's going to enable you to start to end emotional eating. What happens with emotional eating is we are triggered in the moment and we often run to the food. So it becomes a compulsion and we don't even know what hit us sometimes. We're just compelled to jump into the food. Ideally, with emotional eating, we want to start to make space for our emotions. We want to start to feel our emotions and putting in some pause, putting in some space is what's going to enable you to start to create an environment where you can come from your intention rather than a reactive response in the moment. So it starts with the acronym STOP, S-T-O-P. Stop means to stop. As soon as you notice the craving is coming up, maybe you stepped into the house and you're ready to take a nosedive into the refrigerator or you have some ice cream in the freezer that's calling your name, just take a moment to stop. Wherever you are, stop in your tracks. Bring your hand to your heart. Stop is S. T is touch your heart. Touch your heart. Take a deep breath in and then notice how you're feeling in your body. And the O is to observe. Observe your body, observe your breath. Take a deep breath in and let it out. And that's gonna activate the relaxation response in your body. You can take a few deep breaths in and out and observe how you're feeling in your body. Maybe you're just feeling like you have to have the food. Can you go a little deeper than that? What other feelings are triggering this nosedive into the food? Maybe you're feeling angry. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. Maybe you're just feeling stressed. Whatever it is, observe your feelings. You can allow the breath to bring some space to them. Your feelings and emotions are just energy and practicing some space to feel your feelings is the first step in overcoming emotional eating. The P is to proceed with intention. So once you feel centered, you've tuned into your breath, you're practicing a pause, then you can proceed with intention. Now, if you still wanna have food, do it with intention. Breathe, allow yourself, be mindful about it. Maybe once you've done that, you'll realize that maybe there's something else you can do to help you calm down. Maybe it's taking a walk around the block. Maybe it's calling a friend. Maybe it's doing something that is more creative and stimulating. Giving yourself that pause, regardless of what it is that you choose to do, is important. So you stop, you touch your heart, you observe how you feel, and then you proceed with intention. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. This is a very simple and yet powerful tool. As you practice this, and I suggest you even practice it when you're in a neutral place before you're really compelled, the more you're going to give yourself and your body the message that you can feel your feelings, that you can create some space between the need to run to food and what it is you're feeling, and you can be more objective and curious about what's coming up for you. Stop. S-T-O-P. I suggest you write this on an index card and place it somewhere. Stop. Touch your heart. Observe your feelings. Proceed with intention. Let me know if this feels helpful for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I'd love for you to try this and then come back to this video and let me know your success with it. This is a practice, practicing a pause, practicing how to create space with your emotions. The more you practice it, the easier it will get. The more you practice this, the more the neural structure of your brain will start to change and it'll become easy for you to pause and act with intention. Until next time, keep on taking good care of yourself. Bye now.